Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times am I going to buy this game? Uh, this is uh, Final Fantasy X and X 2 HD Remaster. But we're playing on the Switch this time. So it must be different, right? Well, I'm a sucker for this game. <laughs> so uh, maybe not so much X2, although X2 is good. Uh, but certainly for X. Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's check them out. Uh, you do have the ability to uh, enable the cheat, which uh, yes, I will do that because <laughs> I do not want to play 80 hours of this game in the normal way. Yeah, I I, I did that in 2003 <laughs> when this came out. I don't think I need to prove that it can, it can be done. So, you know, I'm only expecting the uh, level of performance that we get from a PS3. Um, you know, since this is basically the chipset from that era. But, you know, if you've only ever played it on the PS2, uh, then you're already impressed. Just even with the text. I mean, even in the uh, PS2 era, this, this was one jaggy, jaggy mess of a game. It looked good, you know, but, you know, the resolution on the PS2 was never you know, super great. Uh, at least compared to the Dreamcast, which, uh, you know, ran at a full uh, 640 by 480 uh, in uh, a lot of their games. But the PS2 had that awful resolution that, uh, unless you're using regular uh, component cables, you know, as soon as you upgraded to S-Video, or God help you, you know, composite cables, and everything was just like this, you know, stair-step, <laughs> stair-step mania. So yeah, this uh, this looks great. And knowing Square, they've probably incorporated all the other um, fixes that they've uh, they've they've bumped along from the uh, the PS3 and the PS4. They had some minor corrections. Um, in the uh, from the PS3 version from the, you know to the PS4 and then uh, further corrections to the uh, the PC. Oh wait, I think the PC came out before the PS4. Yeah, so like the PS4 came out, then it had like uh, additional texture fixes that wasn't wasn't available in the PC, and then the PC came out and eh, got an update to get all those additional fixes. Uh, so I'll be looking pretty carefully and seeing if they uh, did the same thing for uh, this port as well. This is one of those uh, games where the uh, the characters and the uh, and the overall plot uh, manage to defy uh, all the shitty voice acting, <laughs> um, which is pretty impressive because this voice acting can can get pretty bad. Um, uh, very soundtrack. Very soundtrack. Actually, sounds really good. settings. It's pretty standard there. Get out of this once I'm in it.
Damn it. <laughs> I want to back out, jackass. Ugh. Pause button to back out. There we go. That was way, way more confusing than it should have been. Hmm. Color pad's just a tiny bit different, it seems like. Ugh, so chunky. Get out of here, Kamara, you suck. Kamara is such a throwaway character. It's like they could they just couldn't think of anything else for the blue mage. <laughs> detail. Struggles with the um, anti-aliasing, but that's okay. I think if this was a, uh, uh, a down conversion from the 4K version, then uh, there's bound to be some errors here and there. But that's what it's kind of looking like. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. The Rosie 10. In case you weren't sure what you got. contrast compared to the original um, PS4 release. Or sorry, the original PS3 release, I should say. Can I have your autograph? Of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> right, what seat? One? East block is the front row! It's from the right! Got it. Can you sign this? No problem. Please? Alrighty. Me too! <laughs> Take it easy. Cheer for me. Two, three. Teach us how to blitz. Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, no. you can't tonight. Well, I mean tomorrow. Promise? Nope. Promise. You keep waiting. <laughs> Need 
you back here in about a thousand years. better because I, I the, the darks are darker and the, uh, <laughs> and the colors are brighter I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news our hero jacked gone vanished into thin air <laughs> my dad must have been his biggest fan I knew how sad he'd be heck we all were that day Zanar I says to myself what are you thinking I went running straight back home we sat up talking about Jack all night my dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Yeah, the game always had beautiful art. Even if all the models were, um, you know, chunky compared to nowadays. Make way, make way. Coming through, sorry. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. I thought it was a weird world that you could, everybody could just hold their breath for, you know, ever. <laughs> it's just one of those things you have to accept. There's no explanation or anything. It's just like, no, people can just hold their breath forever. Uh, okay. I mean, until the clock can be. I went through the extra effort to clean up the uh, FFB too. It wasn't rendered in a very high way.
doing here? I was waiting. What are you talking about? It's nice to have better load times too. Like the PS2. Well, on the PS3, gotta be a three loaded block. Alright. A little bit longer. Huh? The lot's not really accurate. Uh. Huh? It begins. What? Don't cry. I should kick your ass while I check. These resolutions, um, the SMP looks uh, pretty good. In the 4K resolutions, um, definitely see some uh, uh, macro blocking here or there, uh, but that's just the nature of the 4K. It's a little bit less noticeable, although obviously it's, it's there. I actually do prefer the uh, active time battle system more, uh, but this is a pretty good use of uh, the current base battle system. Don't bother going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run. Overdrive gauge beneath the HPMP display is full. That character may use a special unique attack once. Press uh, left on the choice, uh, left on the D pad, and the command window to use an overdrive.
has actually died on this part. on some uh, uh, gaming forums. That, uh, hey! 
the FMV version hey. of Cheetahs. You know, <laughs> didn't look like the in-game version of Cheetahs. I'm like, well, yeah. My old man? I was like, well, but he looks more, you know, Asian. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, games made by Asians. What? What? Why do you think he wouldn't look more Asian in the FMVs, where they have the ability to have more detail? <laughs> That's like the completely dumbfounded people. <laughs> I thought about a lot of things, like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. I mean, um, you know, we tend to make fun of the, uh, the voice acting because it's so awkward, uh, but uh, really in the, in the console world, this amount of vo voice acting was uh, fairly rare. In the PC world, there were some games that had that had a fair amount of voice acting, but they were always more um, a cartoony, I think. You know, more Saturday morning cartoon kind of style voice acting. And this Anybody was, there? This is trying to not be that. Aaron! Hey! You know, and they had to keep the phrasing to you know, match the. Uh, the animation from the original Japanese release, so yeah, it, it, it was definitely a tough time to, uh, to do voice acting in uh, this period of uh, gaming history. You know, now, uh, about quick recovery, to display the quick recovery menu, touch the screen, uh, touch the touch screen, and drag right, or select the icon that appears. There are two types of quick recovery, one using white magic and one using items. If the conditions are met, you can recover the entire party's HP in one action. Using uh, recovery using cure based white magic. Uh, a character can use the cure range of white magic, is automatically selected to heal the entire party's HP using the minimum amount of MP required. Recovering using items. Uh, recovering HP of all power members using the only potions and, or, and high potions. Potions will be used up first for recovery. To close the menu, touch the touch screen and drag left or select the displayed icon. This concludes the quick recovery tutorial. Oh, of course, we didn't see that quick recovery tutorial at all in the, uh, the PS4 one. That's interesting. We could have substituted all that with the touch screen, little touchpad. I think these options were available in the Vita one, if I remember right. It's been a long time since I played that version. I'd say I was less than impressed with that version. Of all the versions, that version is probably the worst. Right now, this is you know, performing circles around the Vita version, but uh, that was a, it's a much different piece of technology. or anything. Yeah, it's just the buttons and the audio. It's not great. All right. Let's jump out real fast. And uh, let's check out X2. Or 10-2. I think there's a way to do it in-game as well uh, without having to dump all the way out. Uh, but I don't know that way right now. So, we'll do it this way. Um, if I remember, Eternal Calm is audio only, and it's... Uh, it's like, um, well, not audio only. I think there's some slides in there, but uh, 
There's no gameplay, that just uh, covers the events uh, between 10 and 10 2. But uh, you can check that out on your own. There's, there's nothing real fancy about that. Uh, let's look at uh, 10 2. Someday I'm going to finish this game. I just, I get far enough into it and then I get stuck because there's like so much more to do in this version of the game. It's like I get caught up in all the stupid little stuff you can do. But you know, what can I do for you, huh? Criticisms of uh, this game when it first when it was first launched it was so different from the ten brought back in the ACD system, and it's uh, you know targeted on this is uh, more focused on young girls. But I was like, well, what's wrong with that? Young girls not to play games too. It's okay to make games for them as well, or at least have a, a little bit more of a focus for them. They've been playing games with the male protagonists that you know, always fall for the, the dumbass <laughs> female protagonist. So, yeah, it's okay to change it up. The gameplay itself is really good. Uh, I, uh, I, I won't say it's better than 10, it's definitely different. It's real enjoyable. There's a lot to play in this game. A lot of uh, love systems oh, and mini games and everything else. Criticisms I heard for he just looking uh, too Asian. Uh, I did not hear that for uh, Yuna. <laughs> Let you know what the the forum audiences were like back in those days. And still true today, honestly. Show me your moves. 
thinks you can keep up. Shimete Yaru. I think it's all pretty clever on the camera angle. All the same trend. Most people are doing this giving credit uh, for uh, all that it does accomplish technically as well. Thanks. And again, it's returned to the. Uh, the I could have danced all night. Sorry! No time for an encore! You just play the quick recovery menu, touch the screen. Oh, okay. You just told me about this, you jerks. Why am I in danger of dying? Come on, man. Not even playing in for me. <laughs> in handheld mode. Too slow, little girl. I don't know why, they, over. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't give these guys more polygons. I mean, come on. Yeah, ouch. This way. I would have to the uh, Chase that up a little bit. No! 
That's quite enough sniveling, boys. Persistent, aren't you? My grid? You give us back Uni's garment grid right now! Didn't you girls ever learn to share? Give it back! Very well, it's yours. <laughs> Yours belong, loves. I'm gonna whack you good. Uh, press L to access the karma grid and change your spheres. Ah, uh, Bob dress for effects too. Uh, set normal, short, or off to set the supercharged effects mode even during battle. Also, when you touch the screen, uh, touch the touch screen, and drag left or select the display icon. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> And uh, queuing up your uh, moves uh, actually is integral to the combat as well. So uh, I, I won't let you off so easily next time. There's a lot of layers. Get through. back here, Riku. going on. I was frightened. Then, while I was dancing, something happened. sure looked like you were enjoying yourself. I was. It felt like some other person's excitement just took over. That can happen when you use the garment grid. The emotions of the person recorded in the sphere pass to the user. Isn't that dangerous? I can't really say. 
But it's your invention. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Dance, Luna. I want to see. It'll cost you. One moment. She's kidding. What? You don't dance? <laughs> Look, Sikki. Goblins! Doing goody duck! I've completed my latest invention. Creature Crater used the fiend trap pods invented by Shinra to capture fiends all across Spira and train them as allied creatures for the Gullwings. The more fiends you capture and train, the more fascinating tales you will hear about them. I'd say the good thing about this is that this is the, uh, the international version, just like uh, Final Fantasy X. And so there is more content. And uh, the balance is a little better as well. This is Pain. I look up to her as a sphere hunter, and also as a friend. I still don't know her very well. She's not exactly the talkative type. I heard she joined the Gullwings shortly before I did. Riku doesn't know much about her either. What now? Nothing. Still analyzing. Greedy. Buddy and brother are old friends. Buddy says he was aboard Sid's airship with us two years ago. When I told him I didn't remember, he seemed disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's, that's kind Having of fun? fun? You bet. It all began when I saw this sphere of you. At least, it looked like you. I couldn't say for sure. I thought I might find more spears like it if I joined the Gullwings, so I did. Oh, in case you're wondering, the Gullwings are sphere hunters, and sphere hunters are, well... <laughs> this. We fly all over Spira. I'm really enjoying myself. Glad to hear it. For a while there, I was starting to feel like a kidnapper. <laughs> Don't be silly. Yuna, has my talking gotten better? He really has improved quite a bit. He told me that he practiced, just so that he could talk with me more. Turning out of bed, brother and the Albed race speak their own unique language. Yuna has managed to pick up a little Albed during her travels with the Gullwings, but she still has ways to go. So, go digging for Albed farmers in the, the Canal Desert. Expose yourself to the language as much as possible, and you'll be proficient, proficient in no time. Man, you gotta find all this stupid stuff lying all around. Let's go! Party! Party! Or the festival stratosphere. And then there's Shinra, the obligatory Japanese kid. Super kid. Because, you know, gotta pander to that audience. I know everything. Shinra's an Albed. He's a real whiz kid. Oh boy, uh, that's actually gonna take a lot of explaining. Um, so let's get back to the future creator later. We're just doing uh, some impressions here. Well, that's it. Um, does that let me control the brightness here? I don't know if it does. I hate it when they don't let you change the brightness in, in games. It's like because they're always too dark. It's almost always too dark. It's like, just let me control that. The developers are never good judges of how bright a screen should be. Yeah. Wow, boys, that's in my friends.
which is, uh, I think, the same time I have to do three versions as well. Thankfully for uh, Ten Two, they uh, they let you access the save point, you know, pretty early on. Like you saw in Ten, where it's like you got a save point right before the extent of us, and then you didn't get a save point for way after. Uh, so I'm just, I am glad that they jumped right into the game. I think that's what, uh, one of the good things about this uh, this particular title. Uh, but there you go. This is uh, Autopost Radio. You're watching Final Fantasy uh, X, uh, X2 HD uh, Remaster uh, on the uh, Nintendo Switch. I think this version's uh, pretty competent. Um, it looks like uh, it's all the contents there. Uh, all of the improvements that were available from the previous versions uh, look like they appeared to be here as well. Of course, you're dealing with um, uh, maximum 1080p. Um, and handheld mode would be 720 uh, and a little bit less uh, depending on the... Uh, the activity going on the screen, uh, but that still looks pretty good, honestly. So uh, I think it's a I think it's a worthy title if you haven't played these games yet, and you don't have them on all of the multitude of other platforms that's available on. Uh, then uh, it's, it's well worth the time. Uh, both the games are great. Uh, there's a ton of content. Uh, it gets real challenging because again they're the international version, so uh, they don't quite play like the versions that I played uh, back in the day. Uh, but that's good. It's also something fresh uh, for uh, future experience if you haven't played them for a while. So yeah, I highly suggest it. Pick it up. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.